God subjected Ibrahim to the difficult test of slaughtering his son Ismail. Ibrahim was fully obedient and did not hesitate, not even for a second. However, God replaced the son with a lamb and Ismail was not slaughtered. There is a wisdom in the order given by God to Ibrahim to sacrifice his son Ismail. It is to manifest the complete obedience and the total submission of Ibrahim and Ismail to Allah, the exalted. This is what happened. Abraham had a dream that he was slaughtering his son Ismail. He knew that this was an order from God, as the dreams of the prophets are part of revelation. Abraham told his son to bring a rope and a knife and to come with him on a certain route of Mecca. On their way, Satan appeared to them three times, wanting to block Ibrahim from fulfilling the order of God. Prophet Abraham threw pebbles at him each time. This is where the Muslims throw pebbles during Hajj nowadays. The significance contained in our act is that if the devil appears to us as he appeared to Prophet Ibrahim, we shall degrade, reject, and throw pebbles at him like Abraham did. Thus, throwing stones in those three places at Mina nowadays does not mean that Iblis, Satan, is living therein. When Satan became hopeless of distracting Ibrahim, he appeared to Ismail, who was carrying the rope and the knife behind his father. Satan said, Young man, do you know where your father is taking you? Ismail said, To get wood for our family from that route. This is what he thought. The devil said to him, By God, he only wants to slaughter you. Ismail asked why. The devil said he claims that his Lord ordered him to do that. Ismail said, Then let him do that which his Lord ordered him to do. When Ismail did not listen to the devil, he went to Ismail's mother and told her, Do you know where Ibrahim took Ismail? She said to the devil, He went to bring us wood. The devil told her he only took him there to slaughter him. She said, No, he is very loving to his son and too merciful to slaughter him. The devil said he claims God ordered him to do that. She said, If this was the order of God, then we obey. The enemy of God, Satan, left as a loser, not achieving anything from Ibrahim, Ismail, or Hajar. By the will of Allah, they did not listen to him. They unanimously stood obedient to the orders of God. When Prophet Ibrahim was alone with his son on that route, Prophet Ibrahim addressed his son by saying, I have seen in my dream that I am slaughtering you. So what do you have to say? He said, O oh father, do that which you are ordered, and God willing, you will find me patient. He even showed his father his exemplary obedience and total submission to help him achieve his goal. In order to make his task easier, he added, Tie me well, so that I do not tremble, and keep your clothes away from me, so that they will not be stained with my blood, for my mother would be saddened by seeing it. Quickly pass the blade over my neck, so that the death will be easier for me, and when you see my mother, pass her my salam. Ibrahim approached him with paternal love and tenderness, and kissed him, crying. He said to him, What a good help you are for me to fulfill the order of Allah. Abraham tied Ismail down and wanted to pass the knife by standing behind him to avoid seeing his face at the time of slaughter. He passed the knife on his throat, but the blade did not cut anything by the will of Allah. Indeed, a knife does not create the cut. Allah is the creator of the cut, him alone. The knife is only the cause of the cut. It cuts only by the will of Allah. God is the creator of causes and effects. The causes do not create anything. At that point, an angel called Abraham and told him, O oh Abraham, you have done what you were ordered to do. Here is the compensation of your son. Ibrahim turned his gaze to the sky and saw Jibril with him, a ram of paradise. It was a white ram, huge and horned, which Ibrahim slaughtered at Mina in compensation for the sacrifice of his son Ismail. We will stop here for now and 
tell you about the construction of the Kaaba in our next episode, inshallah. Until then, take care of your good selves and review well.